What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient Minecraft Bear Rock Villager Breeder. This Villager Breeder works on point 20 and on all platforms of Minecraft Bear Rock, whether you play on your phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or PC. This Villager Breeder allows you to quickly and easily get a lot of villagers. It can be useful to have a lot of villagers to make trading halls or iron farms. For this villager breeder, you'll need two dispensers, two buttons, one lever, one piston, one water bucket, one glass pane, three rails, one minecart, four ladders, 24 slabs, so you can use any type of slab that you want, 13 glass blocks, about a stack of solid blocks, so you can use any type of solid block that you want. By the way, a couple of examples of solid blocks are smooth stone or cobblestone. And finally, 12 beds. You can use any type of bed. The first step is to choose an area to make this villager breeder at. You need to make it in an area that is at least 100 blocks away from any villagers, beds, or workstations. Once you have chosen an area, place down a dispenser. That dispenser should be facing this way. Now crouch down and place a button over here. This dispenser will allow you to easily transport villagers out of the villager breeder. The next step is to place two glass blocks over here. Now place five solid blocks over here. Now place 3 blocks over here, and 2 over here. Now place water over here. As you guys can see there, that water should flow over to that corner. That water will push villagers that fall down here over there. Then place 3 rails over here. The next step is to place 2 glass blocks over here, and 2 over here as well. Now crouch down and place 2 solid blocks over here. Then extend this wall all the way around until you get to this spot. The next step is to place two blocks over here. Then place a slab at each of these spots. After you have done that, break these two blocks. Now place the glass pane over here. As you guys can see there, by having slabs around the glass pane, the glass pane should not get connected to the walls. That will allow baby villagers to fall into the bottom chamber. The next step is to place three slabs over here, four over here, one over here, one at this spot, and two over here. After you have done that, place two slabs over here, and one over here. The next step is to go over here. Now place four blocks at this spot. Then place four ladders over here. Those ladders will allow you to easily access the top chamber of this villager breeder. Now place a slab over here. That slab will prevent zombies from being able to go over to that corner and attack villagers. Then place a solid block over here and a slab on top. Then place two glass blocks over here, two over here, and two over here. Now place a block over here and a dispenser at this spot. Make sure that dispenser is facing this way. Then crouch down and place a lever over here. That dispenser will allow you to easily feed the villagers. Now crouch down and place a slab on that dispenser. Then place a slab on each of these glass blocks. The next step is to bring two adult villagers over to this chamber. You can bring any type of adult villager. I am now going to show you all how you can easily transport adult villagers in survival mode. To do that, first place two blocks over here. Now go behind the villager breeder. Then place a block at this spot. Now place blocks like this until you get to the ground. Now place three powered rails over here. Then place the lever at this spot and flick it down. That should cause those powered rails to get activated. Now place the rails from here all the way to the top. Then place a block over here and a rail at this spot. Once you are done with that step, place a few rails over here. At this point, you can extend this rail system all the way over to the nearest villager. Once you have found a villager, you can push it into a minecart, then push it into the villager breeder. If you don't want to do that, another option is to use a boat and lead to transport the villager near the villager breeder. To do that, first place a boat next to the villager. After the villager is in the boat, attach the lead to the boat. Now walk over to the villager breeder. 
If you ever get stuck on a ledge, you can pull the boat up the ledge by placing water. By the way, don't walk too fast, otherwise the lead will break. If that happens, you can just pick it up, then reattach it. Once you're near the villager breeder, place a minecart over here. Then break the boat. Now push the villager into the minecart. Once the villager is in the minecart, push it up this rail system. Once the villager is in there, break this block. Then break the minecart. Now replace this block. By the way, if when you try to push your villager into that chamber, the minecart gets stuck over there, just break the minecart up here. After you have two villagers in that chamber, break the rail system. The next step is to place a solid block over here. Now go behind the villager breeder. Then place four blocks over here. Now place four blocks over here. Then place one block at this spot. After you have created that outline, fill it in with solid blocks. The next step is to place a bed over here. Now wait for the bed to show green particles. Once a bed shows green particles, it means that a villager has linked to it. If you can't get the bed to show green particles, try breaking all beds at the village that you got the villagers from. Now place another bed over here. Then wait for it to show green particles. Now place 4 beds over here, and 6 beds over here. In total there should be 12 beds. 2 beds are for those 2 villagers, and the other beds are for the villagers that will be created in this villager breeder. The next step is to add some minecarts to this dispenser. You can add any amount of minecarts you want, however the more minecarts you add, the longer you'll be able to use this villager breeder for before having to add more minecarts. The minecarts will be used to transport villagers out of the villager breeder. Then add some bread to this dispenser. You can add any amount of bread you want, however the more bread you add, the longer you will be able to use this villager breeder for before having to add more bread. The next step is to break this glass block and this block. Then place a piston over here. Make sure that piston is facing this way. Then place a glass block back at this spot. Now place a solid block over here and a piston at this spot. I am now going to show you how to use this villager breeder. To use it, first go up here. Then flick this lever many times. That will give the villagers some bread so they will eventually start breeding. After you are done flicking the lever, make sure it is flicked up. The reason this lever should be flicked up is so that the piston does not stay extended. Once a baby villager is created, it will fall into this bottom chamber. Over time, the villagers will create more villagers. Every time a baby villager is created, it will get linked to a bed. Villagers will be able to keep breeding until there are no more beds left. If a baby villager does not fall into the bottom chamber, push this button. That should cause it to get pushed into the bottom chamber. If after a while the villagers stop breeding, you can give them more food. The villagers will be able to keep breeding until there are a total of 10 villagers down here. When there are 10 villagers down there, it means that all the beds have been linked to a villager. If this dispenser runs out of bread, you can add more bread to it over here. To transport a villager out of this villager breeder, push this button. As you guys can see there, it should cause a villager to be put into a minecart and pushed out of the villager breeder. You can then use rails or a boat and lead to easily transport this villager somewhere else. Villagers need to be transported at least 100 blocks away from the villager breeder in order for them to unlink from the beds. Having them unlink from the beds will allow more baby villagers to be created. If the villagers you bring at least 100 blocks away from the villager breeder don't unlink from the beds, try breaking all the beds then replacing them. That should allow more baby villagers to be created. By the way, if you want to have more than 10 villagers in the bottom chamber of this villager breeder, you can add more beds. To do that, place more blocks over here, then place more beds.
Each extra pet that you place will allow this villager breeder to produce another villager. The baby villagers will eventually turn into adult villagers. By the way, it's okay if baby villagers turn into adult villagers in this bottom chamber. You can still take them out of the villager breeder. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient Minecraft Bedrock Villager Breeder. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching!